water we are surrounded by water we breathe water we live in water however this is a very mysterious arena which we don't even think about so as i began pondering on this it took me right back to my early formative years in the andamans where you are nurtured in water all around you but the core of my growing up in the andamans was words of my mother conveyed to me observe water and everything there is to know will be revealed to you you know when you get imprinted there is a series of harmonics which is vibrations which are waves so this to me then led to another investigative thought in all cultures of the planet across history across time water is the central point of focus it's a central point that governs the well-being of communities so when you start looking deeper into this whole broad arena of the play of water you begin to realize water is just not a substance that you take for granted there is something deeper than that that great mystery of water is what began to lead me into deeper dimensions we look at the creation of life and when we look at the creation of life humans we are over 90% water our cells are governed in water and so our cells being governed in water provides further and deeper insights into what is the condition of the human race that led me into the investigations of water to look beyond its linear dimension and lead what is the linear dimension is what we all know water is physical matter it has a ph it has this it has that and all but rather life is light water is light can i observe the nature of light in water this became the thirst of krishna's investigation